Hello, welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about how to connect a local .NET web application to our local Redis service hosted on Docker. So we begin by running the Docker container by specifying this command docker run. We specify the name of the container which is Redis local and then the port and then we are hosting we are mapping the port to the host port which is 6379 and then we specify the image okay so docker is running so redis is running on docker and what we can do is we can now go into that container and and execute the uh, redis cli command so we do docker execute interactive terminal and then we specify the container which is redis local exactly this name and then we then specify the command redish CLI so now we are in the container and we can now run some redish basic commands like get it asks for the key uh, cache key so in this case let's say name it returns no we do get products which the it returns no now we know it's working so let's now connect our local uh, .NET Core web application to it let's see how it works first of all so I'll click start okay so let's do a get a request alright so get request returns uh, some data here and this data before it gets returned it caches it in reddish so let's go back to reddish and verify if data is there okay so get product is a cache key and now there's data in the cache and we can do a lot more than just get we can delete we can delete the product from reddish so let's say product ID uh, 0 okay we get 4204 so let's go and verify that and there's a product co uh, key here product ID we have a product with product ID of 0 and it's been deleted so let's verify that so as you can see it now starts with product ID 1 so that means it's been deleted okay let's go dive into the implementation now alright so how does it work so obviously this is a typical .NET Core web application and I've created a couple of services here this is the cache service and the product service the product service is nothing but a source of data so we just grab all these data from here and we push it in a cache let's see how that works uh, let's begin actually with the pro uh, start of the program as you can see here um, what we are doing is we are connecting to the local reddish using the, our local port local host and the port that we specified okay and creating our multiplexer and then we are just adding it to the service collection and that is that simple and before you can have access to these classes you will need to make sure you've installed stack exchange dot reddish uh, package from NuGet package and then you can now set it up from here and we have a, a product controller here so what we do is when we do a get we try to get it from the cache and if the cache, cache data is empty if it's not empty we return it but if it's empty we set an expiration date we create an expiration date we grab the data from source in this case product service and then we set it to the cache so as you can see in the set data what we do is we call the string set we, just, we serialize the data and then we say expiration and the key and the key uh, if you look at it the key is product similarly 
what we do is if you want a specific product we grab the entire product from the cache we filter it down to the one that you're looking for and then return it otherwise not found and if you want to add more products to the product list we grab the entire list from the cache we add one to it and then we set a, a expiration date and then we add it push it back to the cache okay similar is with the delete we grab the entire cache data delete one push it back to the cache so that's very simple the most important part is the connecting to the local uh, redis cache you specify the local host and the port that is now hosted the port should match the one that you created on redis once you create your multiplexer you add it as a singleton and then it will work as expected so that's how it works thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe